with that, I do want to introduce our lunch sponsor, which is Connex Marketplace. So as you guys know, we couldn't do this without them. So Connex um, is a SAS, I'm going to get this wrong, Alan, for wherever you are. It's a platform that connects manufacturers, suppliers, and buyers into a single, single accurate and uh, searchable supply chain database. So I'm going to ask Alan Davis to come up and talk a little bit about that. He is the CEO of Connex. So he was up here. There he is. Here he comes. So please welcome Alan Davis. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you all for being here. Again, it's uh, to echo Carrie's comments, it's great to have people back together again uh, after some long uh, disruption to our normal lives. So uh, it's great also to be among uh, many of you that I know, uh, many friends here, and uh, grateful for this opportunity. I just wanted to share two or three quick ideas with you. Um, the first one is just to let you know a little bit about what we are doing and why that's important to MEPs. Um, so the first thing is we started about 11 years ago um, to build a platform. It actually started in the state of Utah. So those of you who know the Utah MEP people, um, you can blame them. Uh, but about 11 years ago, the state wanted to improve the economic sector of manufacturing. And so they brought together manufacturers. These were large manufacturers, small manufacturers, medium-sized manufacturers. They also brought together the MEP, the Manufacturing Association, and State Economic Development to try to figure out how to solve the problem. And they asked us to come and help with that problem and to build something that was entirely different than had ever been built before. What resulted from that was an amazing database that allowed us to connect on, based on things like capabilities, um, which surprisingly enough was not available in any platform at that time. And not just that, but also to make sure that we were building a solution that was by manufacturers and for manufacturers first and foremost, and that we protected their data. We didn't sell it, it wasn't our data, it wasn't someone else's data, it wasn't the government's data, it was actually the manufacturer's data, and we allowed it to continue to be so. So after building that, um, one quick success from that, by the way, one of the first uh, matches that was ever made in the platform was a $70 million contract that was awarded to a small manufacturer in the state of Utah. So tremendous success right out of the gate. As a result of that, we were asked to help to solve a national problem, the National Association of Manufacturers, uh, most of you know them as the NAM or uh, NAM, and so uh, they asked us also to step in and help to build a national solution that was different. And we started that by talking to NIST MEP. To the NAM, to the SBA, to the DOD, to many others to find out what is it that we needed to do differently to make sure we had a platform that would work for our country. And we learned and we had to build something that was first off allowed us to source local first, um, be able to keep the emphasis on the manufacturer and make sure we had a solution that would actually solve supply chain challenges that we had across the nation. Now, this was long before the pandemic, um, so little did we know how badly we were going to need that solution just a few years later. Um, I will just say one other thing about that, though, and I want, I'm going to refer to my notes real quick because I want to make sure that I shared this. Um, as we started working on that, um, we also deepened our relationship with the MEP network. We wanted to know how to, and the NAM actually were, were the ones to point this out to us. They said, you know, look, the MEP network actually has the most boots on the ground to reach manufacturers in our entire country. We need to work with them. We need to have better collaboration. And we need to figure out how to work together to solve the problems that we're facing. And so what resulted was also not just a platform built by and for manufacturers, but also largely built by and for MEPs. A way to identify gaps, a way to identify and track impacts, to be able to help MEPs expand and grow. And so what has resulted is an amazing platform now that is built by and for manufacturers, but also by and for our MEP partners. Um, along with the NAM. And that collaboration is act actually incredibly important um, to us as a country. So as we continue to look forward to how we solve this um, as a country, how we solve not just our current sourcing problems, but how we solve supply chain problems moving forward, it takes all of us leaning in together. And so um, I will just say this. 
as we look at the problem we currently face, uh, it comes down to not just a platform. In fact, the platform is a very small part of the solution, but a solution where we lean in together to solve. If you look back in our history, when as a country we've been faced with challenging problems like this, look at World War II as an example. We had unprecedented collaboration that allowed us to solve significant problems. We are facing unprecedented challenges in our country right now. We need unprecedented collaboration. That means all of us leaning in together. The MEP network, together with the NAM, together with manufacturing associations, together with economic development, all of us working together to make sure that we are solving our nation's supply chain challenges. We're excited to work with you on that solution. We're excited to be a part of uh, the event here um, this week, and we're excited to have conversations with you as well. Thank you all very much for the opportunity.